There are some very common bottlenecks that you will run into when you start to try and scale your fitness business. Now, a lot of people refer to scaling as when they're around two to three K per month. I wouldn't even put that as true. To me, 10, 15,000 per month plus is when you can start to think about scaling something. Prior to that, you're building, you're building the foundations. Now, to be honest with you, there is always building that's required when you're scaling. But scaling is being able to move at a faster pace with systems that have already been put in place. And then you can put something in place and then you can move forward. There are some very common bottlenecks. I'm going to share them with you in this video. Number one is not having enough people. Now, contrary to popular belief, you'll think that the way you scale is the way you, you do more right? It's not true. When you start to scale, you need to be time protective. There are things that you're going to need to do. And if you can't do them, then you're going to in, end up at a bottleneck. And one of those, again, is time and you have to hire people. Whether it's an admin assistant, and to be honest, under 10K, 6, 7 to 8K, you really should have had this in place. All of the things that you do, whether it's invoicing, whether it's following up with people, whether it's emailing, whether it's receipts for accounting, but whatever it may be, basics of onboarding your clients. Have an administrator. You've got to hire people. You're then going to need to hire somebody to do some of the tasks that you don't want to do in your business that you know that you have been doing till now, which more than likely will be things like outreach. Look, outreach is a very, very important part of scaling a business. You've got engaged followers, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, people following you. They are people that you can turn into customers. And if you are feeling that that is being left because you're too busy coaching and you're too busy doing admin tasks, you have to hire somebody, a skilled sales setter to help you handle your messaging. And then you have to hire a coach because you can't keep taking on more clients. You'll end up just devaluing the service. So that first bottleneck is not having enough people within your business will mean you're doing more and you can't scale. Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. The second thing is when you have a team is not spending enough time training them. So they're doing a mediocre job. And I've seen this so many times. You hire a coach, you're like, oh, you're still really, really busy yourself and you don't put any time into training your team. One of the things that I know I made the mistake of was hiring people in the early days, telling them to do a job and just leaving them to it. As your business grows, the bottleneck you'll run into is people actually not doing a great job. Why? Because unless you're able to afford somebody who is amazing at that job, which nine times out of 10, as you're coming up, through your business, you're not going to be in a position to pay that level, then you're going to have to train them and train them very, very well, which means extra hours training them, which means longer days. But the less you train people, the more you're going to run into a bottleneck and you'll probably lose a lot of clients. Number three, not doubling what works and feeling that you need to do something else. I'll talk to coaches that start doing a little bit more aggressive outreach, um, which is actually multiplying the amount of outreach that they're doing on a week to week basis. And they go, oh, I've just reached a point where it's not bringing a lot more back. And I go, okay, what have you been trying to do? Well, I think I'm going to start doing Facebook ads. I think I'm going to start putting more effort into my LinkedIn. I'm like, your Instagram is bringing in clients. How many messages are you sending every day? What is the reply rate? What is the call proposal rate? What is the number of book calls? That's what we have. One, we either get better at it. If we're very good at it, we scale it. We don't look at multiplying our time on different things, we make that one thing bring more return for us. So don't look at new things. The issue and the bottleneck you're facing is the fact that you're trying to do different things when you could double down and do more of the one thing. Number four, coaching high numbers of clients yourself. Now, I'm a very passionate coach. I care about the quality of coaching, but I'm going to tell you this. If you have a team of coaches, whether it's one or two coaches, you're earning 10, 15, 20, 30, whatever it is, K per month, if you are doing 
over 50, 40 to 50 clients yourself around about the 10 to 15 bracket. If you're doing a lot more than that, it's a bottleneck because the amount of time that you're coaching is taken away from you doing the things, the training of the team, the marketing, the sales calls. If you're doing two days of check-ins, imagine how many sales calls you could do on one of those days. So imagine if I got you down to 20 clients. Now, here's the ego thing that you need to drop. You're talking to, I'm talking to you as a coach that's done 24 years. I built a reputation as a very good coach, not just a mediocre coach. My work was featured in men's health, muscle and fitness. I won bodybuilding shows. You know, my work was featured in GQ. I had a built a reputation for the quality of my results. So you're not talking to somebody who wants to deliver poor quality results. However, I had 40 to 50 online clients. I was charging a lot more than 99% of the coaches that come into work with us initially because I valued myself, but I was able to give them 100% of my time. And then I moved clients into more of my team structure. You're not becoming a better coach by having high numbers of clients. It's simply not true. You're actually devaluing the service. Number five, not studying the one thing that is going to help you to get ahead. You're studying coaching, the science, the theory, the practical aspects. I study closing. I study appointment setting. I study digital marketing. I study email. I am fascinated by marketing. I'm fascinated by building my sales team. Yeah, Mark, but you know, I'm not where you are right now. I've been studying this stuff for years and years and years, well, well into like 15 years now. Because when you're great at what you do, the thing that's going to limit the growth of the business is your knowledge around the thing that's going to get you ahead, marketing and sales. And if you think your coaching is going to get you to 10x to where you are today, you're much mistaken because you then have to start scaling things and scaling things means you need to know more. And you know that from coaching. Number six, not tracking every aspect of your business, everything down to leads, to sales, to conversations, to quality of content, to email open rates and click through rates and, you know, everything you need tracking systems you need integrations and automations to make the business more efficient. And this kind of moves into point number seven as well. So it's, it's tracking everything. And number seven is having efficiency systems to speed things up. All you, all you need to do is to just go through everything you do and go, what's manual, what takes a lot of time and what's repeated, what's manual, what takes a lot of time and what's repeated. If any of those three are this, 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 they can be automated and they can be systemized. It just means you need to find out how, right? And that's something that not a lot of people know. And then the last one is just not spending. You're probably sitting on cash going, oh, great, I've got all this cash. But it go back to the point, not having enough people, not delegating. You're sitting on cash, but you're not spending it. The thing that you need to do to get ahead and the bottleneck is you're not spending any money. You're not spending the money that you've got. You're either wasting it on depreciable things right now when you need to be spending it on things that are actually going to increase in value spending money on your team, spending money on your marketing, spending money on your systems, which actually get you ahead and get you a bigger return on your investment. It's so important for you to make these changes. You know, I've given you eight things here. There are bottlenecks to your business. Now, myself and my team have our agency, Coach and Concierge Scale, where we take coaches who are earning 10K months, help you build team structures, sales systems, content marketing strategies and systems, build your automations, all the tracking systems, we build it into the business and we give you accountability and performance coaching to ensure that we drive you through those bottlenecks and take your business to 15, 20, 30, 40, 50K months with the team structure in place. If this sounds like something you would like to learn more about, I will be able to put you in touch with the team. We'll do a full review of where your business is right now and we will show you what is possible in your business over the next six to 12 months. All you need to do is to click the link in the description, or you can send me a message on Instagram, and I'll get back to you, and I'll show you exactly the process that you need to take to find out how we can help you scale your business with the most effective and efficient systems in place, because you, watching this right now, have no idea of the potential of your business. We can help you. If you found this helpful, please click like and subscribe. If you're listening to this, then please, or you're listening to this on iTunes, iTunes, please uh, share it on Instagram. Drop me a message if you need any help. For now, take care.